Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, do you ever wish you could bring back tennis rackets from your past that you really loved and wish the companies would make again? Yeah, me too. Stay tuned. Alright guys, good morning everybody out there. Mm. Coffee sponsor of the day is Anthony John. Anthony writes, hey dude, cool videos. I love them very much. Keep them coming. Enjoy the coffee. Well, thank you, Anthony. I appreciate you. And I'm definitely enjoying this hot dark roast brew this morning mm. all right so if you want to support my dark roast piping hot coffee habit network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin thank you in advance and thank you anthony all right so uh this is actually this came from a uh a viewer it's from Keith Abel Keith writes what would be the best old rackets to bring back I would love to see Babolat bring back the original pure drive it was amazing and best looking stick of all time with the black white and powder blue do you think any of these companies would have the balls to bring them back do I think they would have the balls to bring them back well they definitely have the balls but whether they would use them to bring them back would be a different story um, yeah but yeah that's that racket would definitely be on one on my list to bring back so I agree with you so yes that would be um, on my list and I'm actually going to go through uh, some of the other rackets that's on my list that I would love to to see again too um, so we'll start with that one Babolat Pure Drive Original uh, Andy Roddick popularized it along with Kim Kleisters and the gloss finish of that racket was wonderful it provided a lot of feel right people did complain that they got tennis elbow from it therefore they added the cortex after that and screwed it up so i feel that the original was the best roddick obviously used the roddick version that was heavier and longer um i wouldn't mind them bringing back all of it you know the regular the regular long the roddick and the roddick long so four models i guess that might be too much to ask for so babylon just bring back the original regular okay gloss finish make sure no cortex so some of the other rackets that i would love to see uh companies bring back would be let's start with a golden oldie wilson pro staff 85 made popular by sampras ed berg chris everett right i would love to see that racket come back and kind of stick around because the newer generation kind of like think that that's an old relic i would like them to play or have something like that that they could actually buy and play with whether it be as a training tool or as a primary racket you know just to see you know how hard it is to play with a smaller frame okay going down that path though um pro staff 90 right federer made that really popular and you know up until he switched rackets about eight nine ten years ago to his new 97 that racket was still around and it was because of him that that racket was still around nobody else that i know of except for maybe james blake uh, for a short amount of time used that racket 
So, but I feel again, like the 85, the 90, uh, a little easier to play with. And I would love to see again, the newer generation, you know, the kids these days, you know, be able to own something like that and play with something like that to train with something like that. Um, just so that the nostalgia is still there. Um, I mean, that's probably a lot to ask for, but you know, I can only, I can only wish and hope. Now, going still on the Wilson line here is Pro Staff Classic, but not 6.1. I actually want the 4.2. Those of you who don't know what that is. Google 4.2, okay, Pro Staff 4.2 SI Mid Plus. There is an oversized version of that that's not as good uh, Mid Plus. It's lighter than the 6.1, stiffer than the 6.1. Dave, my buddy Dave and I have discussed this racket for a long, long time, and we, and we know that all the pros that used the 6.195 really used the 4.2. So it was lighter, stiffer, more maneuverable. You can easily customize it um, a lot easier than that 6.1. So moving on to the next one. You know, I'm a Yamaha kind of guy, and I would love to see the Yamaha Secret 04 come back. I always, you know, scour through the Goodwills and the... Uh, the uh, garage sales so the secret 04 is the stiffest racket that yamaha ever made it was an 80 ra at 100 square inches you've seen me do maybe a video or two on that racket um, and it's one of my favorite rackets ever like i loved it for you know when you brought the racket back it just had a great little path to the ball and kind of hammered the ball when it connected so, you know, I just, just remember it for its, its smoothness and the stiffness once it contacted the ball. So Yamaha, uh, they're out of business now, so it'll have to take another ragged company to, to take that mold and remake it. So I know Gozen tried to do it, but... Um, I don't know what happened with that. And the last racket that I wish they would bring back, and it basically just left the Wilson line, is the Burn 100 regular. So they went through four generations of burns. I've kind of lived with the changes until I switched to my clashes. Um, the first generation was great, a lot of feel. Second generation, not much change, a little more muted. They skipped the third generation and only went with the S versions and brought back the uh, Burn 100 in the fourth generation. So I'm talking about specifically about the Burn 100 only, um, in which it had a 16 by 19 pattern. Very, very smooth racket. It feels like home if you're, you know, any type of a tennis player that's, back in you know back playing rackets from like the 80s 90s into the 2000s it's just an easy racket to grasp and understand if you play tennis at any of those times you'll know exactly what i mean it feels like home so they just discontinued it in the gen 4 version and hopefully hopefully down the road they bring that back um, but those are the rackets that i wish were still made. And this is just for my benefit. Let me know in the comments what you guys uh, want to see these racket companies bring back. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to my new friends. <laughs> guys, what's your names and where are you from? I'm Lindy I'm from Canyon, Texas. Hi, I'm CJ. I'm from Canyon, Texas as well. I'm Corbin from Canyon, Texas. My name is Ryan. I'm Bradley from Canyon, Texas. I'm Bridget from Canyon. Chris from Canyon, Texas. I'm Tori from playing Minnesota. Minnesota at the end. <laughs> yeah. All right. And who's going to take us out today? I will. All right. Go for it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.
Well, this could be it, Harry. Oh, Harry, great contact. Now, the idea, Harry, is we need it to land in the blue. I know you're kind of starting out here. Let's try it again, Harry. Somewhere in the blue space on the other side of the net. Um, Harry, that's a great shot. I think you even hit it on the blue on court three, Harry. It's okay. I, I didn't really specifically say our court. I just said blue. So job well done. Let's try again. Keep it in our space on our court. This says number one. Here we go, Harry. Give it a shot. Oh, Harry. No, I didn't say hit the number one. Want a coach with positive energy like Coach Rob? Find what your game is looking for at playyourcourt.com. Oh, Harry, you swung and missed. I bet you can watch the ball a little longer. Try to keep your head still. Oh, Harry, nice try. 